Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. And so, dear, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for April 20th to the 26th. This week we have the Break the Chain Oracle card. We have the Sahasara Oracle card from the Yogic Path deck behind that. We have the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Tower, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So yes, we do have the tower here this week, Saji. Um, been seeing the tower a lot recently. Obviously the biggest card of um, sudden change that can be quite chaotic. However, we have to keep in mind that it is a blessing in disguise because it is bringing down some kind of pattern or construct um, in your life so that you can actually, you know, in that space, you can rewrite the future. It's definitely what we see here coming in. Um, yeah, obviously there's a very final ending. We've got the two tens as well as the tower. Um, something to do with this king of pentacles or something on the home and financial front is what I'm really feeling and seeing in these cards. So before we go to the tarot, I'm going to just get into the oracle cards here. So we have the Sahasara um, Yogic Path card. Sorry to struggle saying that word correctly. So this one here is all about feeling a deeper sense of connectedness and spirituality, um, maybe really being able to tune in a lot more to your higher self and the portal of the heart. That can happen because at the moment we're in a period of stillness. Um, you know, even though you might be going through town moments, a lot of us are not rushing around in the external environment. And when we do have that moment of calm and stillness, that's often when we hear the messages that are coming from uh, depending on what you believe in, it can be, you know, from spirit, but also from our higher self, from our heart, our soul, how we really feel behind all that daily mind chatter. And we call these downloads. Some of you might be getting downloads. Maybe some of you have been having intuitions about the fact that, you know, things do need to come to a completion in your life. There does have to be endings that you can't progress on to where you really want to while you're in the current situation. So, that's that card and we have break the chain as well so it does say that there is some kind of pattern or cycle that you may have been repeating in your life that is coming to an end and that's why this ending might be you know have so much finality about it that we see here because it could be that you are ending a relationship or job or whatever it is but um, the particular way you've been operating in that situation could be a cycle that you've played out a number of times. So we really want to make sure this is the last time that we do things in this way because we can see that you know it potentially hasn't hasn't worked out and hasn't served you. So it's about um, you know ending that for good so that you can really break that chain and rewrite the future. You know we're rewriting a new pattern, a new script for when you go into those situations again. So. We'll just read out that oracle card before we go to the tarot. Break the chain, page 60, just bear with me. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. You are being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your maternal or paternal line. Healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. We carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back. This is why family patterns are the hardest to break. Often they are not even ours to begin with. But we do not know another way of being, so we continue playing out the drama. Yeah, I mean, that, that King of Pentacles could definitely be a family member. Um, you know, an older, uh, older brother, uncle, father, father-in-law, um, or partner. Uh, but uh, we'll just start here with the fact that we do have, you know, we do have the Tower and the Ten of Swords. So whatever ending you're going through, whether, you know, you've already gone through it because this is recent past or you're on the threshold of it now, it is final, right? The Tower is a card of sudden and dramatic change. Um, some of you may have sort of known that it, it was coming, but I feel like the actual event of this unfolding has probably come in quickly. Um, the tower can be, like I said, just a, a revelation as well, information coming to light, um, revelation about yourself or about another person. It could be the loss of a job, maybe even you know just linking back to that ancestral pattern. Maybe it's the moving away from a job that you know you you were pushed into or coaxed into by your parents that you know is not a fit for you. So that could be the opportunity to release that and rewrite your future and choose work that's aligned for you. 
It can be um, the release of a relationship where you might have been playing out the same cycle by selecting the same kind of partners. Maybe that's, you know, through your family line. Maybe you're repeating the, the pattern of your parents in their relationship. And that's a very possible thing here as well. But we have to keep in mind that the tower is a blessing in disguise because it's the universe's way of coming in, shaking things up, pulling down anything that's not built on a sturdy foundation on your life so that from that place you can rebuild. You can rebuild something new. We must make sure we don't rebuild the same tower. And, that, you know, we can rebuild something that's really going to um, fulfill our purpose uh, a lot greater. So saying that whatever the situation is you're releasing wasn't a fit for you, it wasn't aligned, we've got a square tower, round crown, and, you know, the stability just wasn't there. So it really just took... Um, you know, one bolt of universal lightning, one self-isolation together, one, um, you know, crisis, and it's really come down, it's coming down for good. Ten of Swords endings can be quite painful. You know, here we see the sense of this person with the swords in their back. It could be that there was, you know, arguments, harsh words said over the situation. It can also indicate that the situation has played out over a long period of time, and, um, you know, really sort of worn down your energy, maybe sickness and fatigue for some of you, or d depression even, because swords is the, the intellect, the mind. So that is a, that is a possibility. Um, I feel like the situation could have played out over a long period of time. Um, however, you know, the tower moment is very sudden. But the good news when we see the Ten of Swords is that, you know, as soon as this ending is final and you kind of close that curtain, that's when that new beginning um, can come in and really lift the darkness. You know, saying that a situation is final is the first stage of the new beginning. So I really do love that. And, um, you know, what is the ending pertaining to? Well, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So... This can be a completion on the home front with that Ten of Pentacles or in um, definitely I'm also feeling business or job situation as well because the Pentacles is obviously our physical resources and material resources definitely can be linked to our finances and that King of Pentacles can be a boss or mentor maybe a boss or mentor has recently you know uh, phoned you or had a conversation with you to say that you're being let go that's obviously going to also impact greatly on your home life some of you may have had to move home some of you may have lost a home this can be the ending of a relationship with your king of pentacles as well which could be an earth sign potentially a taurus um, the king of pentacles can be you know husband committed partner um, me and maybe somebody who's older as well uh, or definitely somebody that held the purse strings, you know, maybe it was the person in the relationship that also had a lot of control over the finances and that could be a great source of worry of you that now you're actually going to have to learn how to do that for yourself. But maybe that's the chain that you're breaking, you know, becoming financially independent, be, you know, releasing the codependency of somebody else managing all the household or financial business. So yeah, that can definitely be um, the energy there. So, yeah, the King of Pentacles could also be somebody who, I'm not sure if I said this before, I think I did, but, um, you know, a father or father-in-law as well that might have been, um, you know, ha having a lot of control about over um, maybe even how you live, where you live, that sort of thing. But this situation is coming to an end, and it's the end so that we don't repeat that cycle again. So as soon as that ending has come into play, that's when you can really move on to the rewriting your future and that's what I see here in the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So the Knight of Pentacles, look, if you see that, you know, this is probably another, um, you know, another sign or another person who has been kind of holding your financial resources. Here, I feel like it's you now, you know, heading into a new future and now holding your own pentacles, your own resources and planting those seeds to expand them on your own in your next chapter. The Knight of Pentacles is about... Now putting down new plans, new foundations in place so that in your next season, your next chapter, you will reap the harvest, you'll reap the rewards. It might not be right now, but this is about putting in the preparation, putting in the new steps, the you know laying the foundation to build a new tower on, but a solid tower, whether that's in relationships, whether that's in business. 
So the Knight of Pentacles knows that by putting in that work now, you know, there will be a reward, there will be a harvest. So it's about being patient and consistent and efficient and methodical when we see the Knight of Pentacles. And you're rebuilding, a, you're building a new future here with that Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands shows somebody who is in the, you know, the comfort and safety of their home might indicate that you are, you know, self-isolating and you're really considering the past versus the future. And, you know, this person still has the wand of the past here and that really is the indicator to to release it if you can. Don't have that temptation to go back to the situation. But we can see here that you are gripping the Ace of Wands. So I feel that, you know, there is the decision there to take the inspired action to move forward, to move forward into a new chapter that's going to be, you know, provide you with more abundant opportunities, moving into more fertile pastures. But the Two of Wands asks you, are you willing to take a step beyond your comfort zone in order to get there? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to release? Are you willing to leave the situation in the past? Are you willing to put in the work that it takes to prepare your new foundation and take the inspired action to move into and manifest a new direction and future for yourself. But by doing that, Saji, you know, the reward is that you are breaking a chain and we won't need to revisit these karmic lessons again. So Saji, I'm just gonna draw a couple of keywords for you to close out the reading. Um, let's give these a quick shuffle and then I will choose the cards if they don't fall out. The word simplicity has been coming out all over the place and giving as well. Okay, that's interesting. So giving, you know, that can be about the fact that, you know, it's time for you to, you know, get into a place where you're in an even kind of amount of giving and receiving. Maybe this week checking in on others and seeing if they need anything and seeing if you can, you know, lend a hand. And we'll get one more. There it goes. Initiative. Yeah, well, initiative is definitely the Knight of Pentacles. It's about, you know, putting in or taking the initiative now um, in order to reap the rewards later. That's what the Knight of Pentacles does by planting those seeds, working those fields, putting those plans in place. So it's about forward vision and thinking now in order to set yourself up for the future. So I love that. Okay, Saji, I am going to leave it there. I wish you um, all the best this week. Uh, you know, even though it could be quite difficult with that tower moment, just keep in mind it is a blessing in disguise and it's really leading you somewhere far greater. So do keep in mind, guys, it is a general reading. It won't be for everyone. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. Always love to know if it resonates and how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.